So one of the greatest things about being in a motorcycle club brotherhood is you actually have brothers to help you do things. <laughs> everyone, this is strictly business. Hello, everyone. He was the first national business manager of the Black Sabbath Nation. Remember that? Absolutely. All those hard. <laughs> so uh, back when we were like really yeah, struggling. So anyway, um, I broke this thing and I broke the slide out motor. Um, okay, so with an RV, you can't rush. There's no rushing. You got everything has got to be like planned out and you have to take your time with everything. And the first time you don't take your time, you're gonna tear your shit up, stuff up. You're gonna tear your stuff up. So um, I tore up the motor on my uh, slide out. I was gonna show you this. Oh, here it is. So you're supposed to uh, like, for instance, when I drove off the jacks, yeah, like I drove off the jacks. <laughs> um, you know, everything is a thousand dollars too. There's no like not thousand dollar repair. So I I created this sign. Hey, so when you have it backwards, it shows right. Look at that. That was cool. So I created this sign. Jacks are down, so you don't drive off the jacks. So whenever you park, you put your jacks are down there, and then you don't drive off the jacks. So uh, I screwed up the slide out though. I was, um, I, I had this uh, bag of charcoal. So in RVs, you keep a bag of charcoal so they don't smell bad. And uh, I had this bag of charcoal here. Bag of charcoal got caught when I was sliding out this slide out. And then because I was rushing, I meant to slide it back in. And, oh, by the way, thank you to Strictly Business's wife, yes. Gypsy, for making us some wonderful food to have. Uh, Peruvian. Peruvian food. And then Strictly Business uh, created we don't have a name for it yet. This is going to be his retirement, he says. <laughs> so I'll, I'll let you know how it is. Anyway, I went over here to to slide the darn thing back. And, um, yeah, so... Oh, here's another... Uh, this is another note I now have. So that when I slide this slide out in, I move that seat first. Right, you gotta have these signs so you don't tear your stuff up. So anyway, I went to slide the slide out back in and I hit this one instead. And then I was like, oh no, that's not the one. And I hit this one and instead of coming back in, I went out and when I went out, I continued to push the uh, charcoal, snap the, the motor in two. So now I'm gonna put Big old signs on each one of these, and each sign will tell me exactly what to do at all times. No more rushing. Then I screwed around and I was pressing these buttons here, trying to get some lights, and I accidentally slid out the um, awning. And then instead of letting it come out, I pushed it back in real quick. Now the awning's jammed. So, jammed on awning, and that motor out was, <laughs> well, they wanted a thousand dollars for it, and we had to look all, but strictly business here who builds cars from scratch <laughs> and engines and everything told me if I paid somebody to do this, we'd have a fight. So... I said okay. So uh, last week we tried to fix this thing. Well, we got the parts last week. And um, holy moly, I parked so close to my neighbors, huh? So last week we, um, we got the parts for this thing. 
And um, well, we took it out to get the part. And I, we went over here and I sat in a bed. Of, I've got welt marks on my butt and it's been a, it's been a week now. Where are those damn dents? They're over here. I won't be sitting on them again. I promise you. You can't even see them. They're so conspicuously hidden. Man, I don't even see it. But I promise you it's there. So anyway, the, uh, oh yeah, I brought the right tools today. And then we didn't bring the right tools. It was terrible. So, uh, this is the beast. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want people to think I use this a lot. I'm a, I'm a biker. I, I actually tell them, Tim, I, I actually ride. However, we're going to take, the, oh, here's the problem. Look at that, huh? So this is the slide we got to fix, and it's like a That's quarter, it's like a quarter inch off from, uh, From back here, that's just about dead on. So when I first bought this thing, I had to fix, oh, I had to fix my own generator. And I repaired the, uh, I gotta show you that video where I repaired and replaced the entire generator um but this one was a little much for me uh, so now we got to take off the shoes and uh affect the repairs so we should do a video called Fixing the, uh, uh, we should do a video called, don't tear it up in the first place. That's the first video. You guys went over the top? But you took it over the top, huh? That was easy. So it's 99 degrees out here in Georgia. I wish I was skinny. Hey, you know, somebody called me a fat bastard. Really? Yeah, they got mad at me. I get these haters, and they call me a fat bastard. You need to drive my Jeep for a while, you sweat it off. Oh my goodness, so. This is Strictly Business's Jeep. I don't know why he chooses to ride this damn thing around. And I mean zero doors. No air conditioning. Everything is like, what are these tires? A thousand dollars a piece? <laughs> this is Bam Bam. Bam Bam? Bam Bam. It is like totally hardcore. I can't wait to drive it. You see the cut on the seat? I saw that. Represent. All the way. Okay, the uh the uh ready to get to work. Ready to get to work. The um stabilizers are up. So then I gotta fix this. I tore this, so look at that. Just freaking ridiculous. I don't even know why we got this gap in here, but that's next. That's next. So, fixing the RV, this adventure going to be quite interesting. Oh wow, look at this. 
It's on my buddy's phone. So this is what it looks like. Seeing myself live. Oh my goodness. All right, so. These are my uh, old handmade uh, seat covers. And uh, that's to keep the leather seats intact. Okay, so. All right, so we have checked. The jacks are up. And uh, we're going to move it out and do our thing. So we're not going to bore you with the whole process. Probably click back on. So are you going to guide me out? Yeah. I was waiting for you. You're going to guide me out from over there? I mean, like last time you were right there. Huh? You're okay. I'm ready. Alright, so auto vlog. No? This way? going this way? I can't believe we're going this way. Uh, but we're going to hit the truck. Really? I don't trust him. Looks like we're going to hit that truck to me. I'm coming. I'm com- oh really? We're going to hit the freaking truck. Okay, well, maybe we're not going to hit the truck. Oh, well, we didn't hit the truck. We didn't hit any of that stuff. That's why you need two people. Two people are necessary when you're doing this. Uh, we'll turn on the reverse screen here. And the reverse screen shows us what's behind the truck hmm. no reverse screen oh now it's coming on All right. okay so I think we're straight now we back up the cool thing about this is we will not be in the ants because the last time we did this we were in the ants. First screen, I don't even know what the hell. Ah, there we go. Good, good reverse screen. Something's wrong with the... Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I'm going all the way around. No need for the reverse screen. Just go all the way around. We gotta play with the toy here, get it fixed so we can go do some camping this summer. And uh, have some fun. So, um,. I'll let you know how this repair goes. Um, I sheared that motor in half. I'll show you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Why not watch what you're doing, Paco? Watch what you're doing! 
fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Fucking idiot. This guy just pulls out in front of me like there are people in this thing driving. Didn't even look, just pulled out at a hundred miles an hour. Idiot. Forgive my road rage. I just hate dumb people. Just like he's in a farm. You know how farmers do that? They're they're the only ones on the road, so they just pull out at a hundred miles an hour. I went around the long way is because he was in the way. Couldn't come up the bank like I wanted. folks we uh, never expected uh, the idiots to show up so uh, I think we're looking good here it's time to go put on the slide out motor <clears throat> burn my hand on the crock pot almost lost our mill hey for gypsy to be mad at us so we're looking good here the food's still cooking looks good Peruvian food in case you've never been to Peruvia I wonder where Peruvia is you didn't see that guy almost take the Mexican guys with the uh, uh, with the tools he just comes pulling out at 100 miles an hour like nobody's here but him level it. all right we gotta level it, gotta level it. your wife's uh, food dumped all over the trailer what? yeah I had to step on the brakes huh well I mean it was her food or the RV. I'm just kidding. It. Oh. <laughs> Killing me. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. You mind shutting the door? I mean, the air conditioner's on. It's not like this is a barn, you know? I'll get out here in the heat. No, no, I. <laughs>
All right, uh, I'll holler back at you guys. Take care and get skinny. Oh yeah, I'm exercising again, so uh, you guys uh, be able to see that. Let's see. All right.